fans out there, this is Mr. Chill here. And let's talk about episode two of Moon Knight. Episode two Moon Knight was a really good episode, better than the last episode of my book. And we got more story on Mark Spector. We got more uh, story on uh, his wife, Lena, 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 I believe. And more story about the main villain. Um, we, uh, what's his name again? Arthur, I think yeah, his name's Arthur. The one that has a scale. You know him. He he's okay villain. Um, he, and we found out he was a former uh, servant. Basically, um, he was. Ooh, I forgot the word for it. Anyways, he worked for the Moon Knight God, I main Moon God before King Koshin. Koshin, I believe Koshin. Um, he worked with him before. He was a oh vessel. He was a vessel for him to use his powers. But he had a scrabble. A scrabble. They didn't like each other. They didn't have like work with each other so he split and we found more about mark specter mark specter worked in uh basically they kept to the comic origin because this was his a little bit that i remember he was a marine he did go to egypt on a mission uh archaeological mission and i guess that's when he met the moon god and they both decided to work together um and we found out yeah mark specter uh became the festival i think he's the main cause of Mixed personality happens. I wonder he had the disorder before he became Moon God. And that's the question. I think during the show, show they asked her, will your head screw up before the Moon God came in? Or you um, or it happened with the power? Because that's what the villain was talking about him. Because there's two personalities. There's a third one too. A little hint. A little third one in there. This should be a taxi driver one in there. There's a museum worker, Stevie. There's Mark Spector, the Marine. And there should be a taxi driver or an actor, I believe. I think there's four four or five but i think they're going with three because i don't know you remember where Tony goes to the museum they call him something else they call him a different name not stevie and he has to keep repair um re ap ap repeating himself ask them to repeat uh correct themselves yeah correct them uh definitely security guard calls him to think like uh clark or something that calls some name that it's not stevie so I think there is a, a third a third one's gonna pop up. And there's another question too. Is Mr. Knight Stevie's um Moon Knight costume? Can Mark Spectre summon that one too? Um summon the uh that moon uh, Mr. Mr. Knight's uniform. So we got like Mr. Knight finally came up, the costume, Moon Knight's costume. Then we got the Mark Spectre, Moon Knight, the full cape and hoodie, the one that looks like Batman going on here. So we got those two costumes, but so far when Stevie tried summon during the fight with the Jackal, he's tried some uh, summon the Moon Knight uh, costume, the Mark Spector outfit, but he summoned Mr. Knight instead. That was pretty cool. I liked it. Didn't like the personality mixed with it, but I I don't know because when I read the Mr. Knight comic um, a long time ago at Marvel now, it feels uh, felt like he was more like sensei, like a detective cop in a way. Uh, going through, he, he loves getting fist fights. He does throw weapons. Showing has like kind of like Nightwing's dagger, um, like sticks for fighting. But he, he, Mr. Knight's one of my favorite costume designs and favorite characters for the Moon Knight personalities. Um, it was very cool to see him. I hope we see more Mr. Knight. So we dope. But that's another good question. Can Mark Spector summon the Mr. Knight outfit? And we'll find out. Maybe the show will show more. Maybe they could pick different costumes. Or it's all matches by the personality. So far we got two. We got Stevie, Mark. And so far the show's been going good. The fight with uh, the Jackal was very really cool. We saw the powers. We're seeing more powers of the Moon Knight abilities. We're seeing the master plan of the main villain. Um, the cult leader. I think Arthur. Yeah, I think he's our name. The Arthur. Um, he wants to summon the crocodile god. I forgot his name. It's I'm, I'm probably a villain from the combat. Like I said, I don't know too much about Moon Knight history. But it, I like to see his vessel, his powers. Because it's basically going to do the same thing like what um, the moon god's doing. Gave him powers, um, Mark Spector's powers, giving the suit and everything. I believe that crocodile do the balance, the croc crocodile god. Basically, some corrupted uh, corrupt stuff. Basically, that god believes that what I heard. Um, he's all about balance. He's all about um, getting rid of evil. He wants to get rid of evil, but with enemies necessary. You cannot think evil thoughts whatsoever. And he kind of predicts the future. That's what's weird. That's why um, Stevie was when he's getting interrogated by the villain. He was uh, asked, 
So you could kill kids. He said, if it has to, yes. Because even if the kids think something wrong, like even when Stevie said, I, sometimes I think about killing my boss, but I'm never going to do it. Because we all, <laughs> we think like, oh, I hate this person so much. I wish I could just get, you know, if it's stab him or beat the, beat the heck out of him. But if we thought, if we follow that God's rule, that God's rule, we can't think not one negative thought. Well, not one negative thought, one negative, do one negative thing. It has to be all perfect happiness whatsoever and he will tell our future we're lying too because he will tell that we're becoming killers like he would say even that kid in 30 years from now will become a killer like it's like a theory where if you saw hitler as a baby will you kill him now knowing what he will do in the future it's like it sucks that that's a messed up way of killing kids so this guy's really corrupted and this guy follows him no matter what He's, he's a nice little guy, but like I say, he wants peace. Kind of like the good version, like kind of like a Reja Gu. You know Reja Gu kind of wants the same thing. He wants to kill all the bad guys, all the rapists, thieves, killers. Kill them all. So just be nothing but good people in the world. Basically, control with the Iron Fist. And kind of he wants to do the same thing. He wants a better mankind, a good world, peace-loving kind. Um, you don't think nothing bad. Everyone's high, bad. And he'll judge everyone by the scale. And he'll kill him. And he's pretty crazy. And I hope to see a cool fight scene. He get the he has a scout now that was on the show. So he's gonna go for the power. He needs more power. Uh he only has power in that staff that the god gave him. But if we get he unlocks that god and lets him out, okay, he's trapped somewhere, he's gonna open him up. Kind of been like that moon god that's traveling with Mark. He'll be like him. Uh, so they'll have one big fight. I think we're gonna see that. So we'll see them both going at it. The main villain will have that suit. I think he will get a suit. We'll see how cool that is, how cool this villain is. I still want that villain. He looks a little average. I want to see more super villain like. What makes him a super villain? And I hope he gets that suit. So we'll see in episode six. I think yeah, there's six episodes. The main fight. We'll see Moon Knight and his suit, Mark Spector, versus this big old bad guy and his crocodile suit. We'll see what he looks like, how cool he is. But that's it for now. Episode three. We see Mark Spector's in Egypt, so we're gonna get some more, probably more background flashbacks of the Marine, what, what was the mission, how you met the Moon God, and all that stuff. All right, that concludes my video. I hope you like it. And please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get all my reviews on my comic books, toys, my anime, manga, um, TV shows. I'm gonna be putting up a Halo review soon. But thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a good day and good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.